Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. This video is the next in a series of videos covering the tool axis control options in the simultaneous five axis toolpath. This video will be talking about tilted relative to impeller machining layer. Um, so it's a long winded name, but basically it means that we're going to be working on an impeller. Uh, and this is a tilting option that tends to yield itself really only for this sort of control, something that is on an impeller. It has a splitter edge and such like that. Uh, and as you see, when we get into the toolpath, it's, uh, it's pretty much only for that. Uh, you have other options to cover, cover other types of parts. This one is really just for an impeller. Um, so the impeller, impeller rotation axis is going to be set up on your part. In this case, mine is the Z axis. So pretty simple. That's how what you're choosing there. The lead angle at the cutting edge and the tilt angle at side of cutting direction is similar to what we would have seen in the other options. Essentially, tilt angle is um, away from the surface normal and the lag angle is a leaning angle either into or away from the direction of the cut. But specific to the to this particular one, the tilt relative to the impeller machining layer, is the additional lead angle. You're going to control that by the leading edge, the splitter edge, and the trailing edge. And those items are basically the same that you're going to choose in your tilt lines. Your tilt lines are basically just the edges of that surface and then the splitter edge. So those same values there are what you're controlling here. So under the additional leading edge, you can add angles there to better control it, the tool as it goes across the surface. And then approximate, you choose whichever option is best. I'm choosing smooth here just to kind of um, to smooth out the, the angle as it goes along. Now let's take a look at what this does if you're just using a simple, uh, in this case, I'm using a quarter inch flat end mill. If we just get an angle on this, then we can kind of see what it's doing. I'm just going to step through the code here. And as you see, it goes along that surface following that angle that I put it there. So that's basically zero degrees to those lead angles, to those edges, the splitting edge, the trailing edge, and such. And it's giving me a nice tool path that's going back and forth. Now, of course, as always, these are just tilting options in the overall technology that you've chosen. So here I'm choosing morph between boundary curves. Whichever one you choose for whichever part you're working on, keep that in mind when you choose these tilting options. But in this case, morph between boundary, boundary curves is allowing me to morph between the top edge and the bottom edge. And as you saw, it went back and forth. Let's see what happens if we use a taper mill. So in this case, my tool is a taper tool. And in that case, I want to add a tilt angle at side of cutting. So in this case, I'm just doing 20 degrees. Again, we'll just kind of go through the code. If we angle this a little bit, we can kind of see that the tool is on an angle. Let's try and get it to the edge there. So because I'm using a taper tool, I'm, I'm trying to get it to use that entire edge there. As it goes along, you will see that it actually is going to do that a little further along in the toolpath. As you can see, it's getting closer and closer to the bottom there, and it's using that angle that I plugged in there. So again, this is a angle from the surface normal. That's how I'm getting that angle there. And then let's take a look at that same toolpath with the lag angle, lag angle of 45. If we look at that from sort of the side here, we'll see that we're getting that 45 lag essentially away from the cut. And because we're zigzagging back and forth, it's really lagging in that same direction. So you have a couple options in here, but mainly this one is for finishing or even roughing if you're using it, uh, an impeller uh, edge or an impeller face. And um, uh, all the options in here are related to that. So the tilt lines would be the edges, as you see from the surface there, and then the strider edge. If I just bring up the, um, the help menu, and with the help menu, let me bring it over here. I'm just going through to my section there. So we'll go tilting options and we're talking about tilted relative to impeller layer. And you can see there the leading edge, the splitter edge, and the trailing edge. So you grab those from your impeller. 
and you have control over the lag angle, the lead angle, and even the uh, the lead additional lead angles from those edges. So define that off the part, and you'll find that you'll get a clean toolpath that goes across the surface. Anything else from uh, from SolidCAM, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCAMSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel and in this 5-axis series. Thanks for watching.